That's my thing. All right, everyone. On this episode of Battle of the Games, episode something, I think this is the fourth one. Battle of the yeah. Games. We it have, is the fourth one. We have Kenzie's... Number five? Number five. Question. Obsession. Question. You want to go ahead and explain I'm so obsession? I'm this. <laughs> the titular line. Continue, please. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. What's the game about? Obsession is about holding... I don't know, court, you could say, um, to gain favors from different events and different people. So each round, you're going to hold a different event and use your servants that you have either had just from owning the house that you're doing it with or that you've gained throughout the game to gain specific favors while also playing the specific people that you need for that event. And then you're going to gain all of their favors. That go ahead. You ridiculous people. <laughs> Is that funny? Is that funny? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, you're welcome. <laughs> oh, you took them from me. I thought you were gonna get some. <laughs> no, I'm taking Aww. them away from you. Go. It's because he wants to eat them all later. It's also true. <laughs> anyway, that could be reputation to move up the reputation rack. Rack. Wow. There's a little it's track going in real here. Real row. Real row. Real row. Real row. What do you have to say about this? Really, Winifred? Kev? Is that how you tried to play that? Dang, this is a loopy episode. <laughs> you were what talking you, to the dog. What do you have to say about this? <laughs> I didn't mean to mess that up. I was talking to the dog. All right. Anyway, to move up the reputation track <laughs> to play bigger people, better more, events. More influential people. Um, inviting them. But yeah, all in order to gain the fair child attraction. Um, wow, guys. So, <laughs> I feel so unappreciated right now. I appreciate you. Basically, uh, you're a fancy family trying to gain the favor of other fancy families. There's more detail to it. That's kind of all you need to know for the game. Um, yeah. Person at the end with the most points wins. Yeah, person with the most points wins. It happened to be me. As is most games. Kenzie is the first person to win at their own game or one of their own games. So breaking the streak of Josh. And there is now only one person that hasn't won a battle of the games. There is now only one who hasn't won a battle of the games, and it's me. Woo! Congratulations. I'm on my (laughs) own streak. (laughs) Ooh, I wonder how long you keep that streak. I'm on a different journey, okay? (laughs) Sometimes the turtle uh, finishes last, and sometimes not at all. Tortoise. <laughs> sometimes the turtle gets picked up by a horse on the way there. The tortoise. Oh my god! But let's go ahead truck. and start in clockwise order. Duane, what would you rate obsession and why? I would rate obsession honestly an eight. Mm. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. Um, on I like. I kind of like the. Like how how the, the the character cards work, how you have to have your uh, certain workers available at a certain time, mm-hmm. and how you have that kind of timer where they're exhausted and then almost ready, and then they're ready. Like it screwed me at the end of the game pretty much because uh, my blue guy, what is he? The ready, the, the useful man, the, the useful, useful man. man. He was one away from being ready before I could make my big play. Um, but I just didn't plan it out. I didn't plan it, w- plan it out well enough. I have a yeah. question for you. Well, sometimes a consequence can help you be like, <laughs> oh, okay, like the timing of that was worth it. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Guys. <laughs> I just already had my thought out. You had a preemptive question to a question. Go ahead, go ahead. Did you know the free action you could have refreshed your servant? Yeah, but okay. that would have taken me down from reputation. Just make sure, just make sure. <laughs> it right. came up. He asked. He asked about it. He's like, "How much does it cost to do it? And can you do it whenever?" And it wasn't worth it because you would have dropped below the rep to play the tile, so yeah. it wouldn't have mattered. But yeah, I like it. I like it. I've only that was my second play of it, and I remember the first time I played it, I really liked it, and the second play just like nailed cementing it, in. it a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. 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 
All right. Come on, Drews. 8.5 for me. Ooh. Wow. No. Even though you lost. Yeah, of course. <laughs> like the most. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dead last. Um, but that's probably what, that's why I say, remember, my scale is different than their scale. Yeah, so, that's true. Um, it, it, it means less, you know, because so much saturation. Mm. It's a solid B, right? 85% is a B. Sure. Right. Um, solid game. Really enjoy it. Um, we talked about, uh, some of the things I think were, were short falls when we were talking, but I'll reiterate them here. Um, the there's a the, the randomness of the tiles coming out of the bag with the objectives. The thing is wild is you get five objectives. So, and you're like whittling them down, you go up to six and then you're whittling them down. And even still there was not, I was one tile away from three different objectives. None of them hit. Um, could I have chosen different ones? Like there was one where uh, like one point additional per service tile I wasn't doing service tiles. Uh, and the only other one that I probably could have done to salvage some points was getting 10 um, servants. Okay. Um, but I forgot that ser- – I forget- I did forget that servants were worth points on their own. I always forget that they're yeah. worth their own points. Had I remembered that, I probably would have kept that one and then maybe tried. But you had to get 10. Yeah, it, which like, is quite a bit, I needed- honestly. I would have had to do two more of those actions, which – I'm not sure it would have been worth it. I feel like it's kind of a waste action. Well, and then if if someone's like, I'm going to take one of those from you. Yeah. You know, oh, it could have screwed your whole thing. I completely <laughs> forgot about that as a thing, too. Because, yeah, I'm not paying attention to that. Um, so that was a little bit, um, you know, the, the the luck factor there kind of is unsettled. It's, it's just not pleasant to be like, I just never had a chance. I don't feel like I had as much of a competitive chance. Because 10 points per objective, if you get two of them, that's a lot. You know, it's a big swing. Um, we talked about the the randomness of some of the cards, especially the 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 level two, what are they called? The prestige cards? The prestige, yeah. The, the prestige guests. I mean, the differences between those is pretty significant. Um, so it's just some of the stuff feels a little bit unbalanced in that way. Um, but despite that, it's, it's still fun. It's a very enjoyable game. I like the setting. Uh, my only other complaint, and it's kind of a you know take it or leave it um it's i don't love the art (laughs) i really don't like the physical aesthetic of the game um really at all but um it's a good enough game to overcome that because that's usually a pretty important thing for me so 8.5 okay okay that felt like a lot of negatives negatives for a pretty good score five so you must really like the mechanics of the game I mean, again, so like 8.5 is good, right? It's a good game. It's solid. It's got a lot going for it. But and I'm going to talk so much shit about it, but it was really good. Oh, it was again, really good. Also, okay, well, that's coming also, from someone who says, I absolutely love this game. It's one of my favorites. Five. I mean, <laughs> I <laughs> never said that. I'm also, if you haven't, you guys know about this by now. I'm a naturally critical person. It's a lot easier to be you? critical of stuff. No, never. No. <laughs> because that's how we get better is we'd be critical. So you're critical, but you don't. Rate it critically? I'm confused. This is not a pod episode. We don't have time for this, okay? (laughs) (laughs) It is. That was a critical rating. 8.5 is a critical rating. This is also going to happen on every one of these videos. Gens, if I gave you a B on a paper, (laughs) would you be happy with that? She would not. No, she's a little nerd. Would you be happy with a B on a paper? (laughs) I'd be screaming with happiness. Yeah. Gens, would you be happy with a B on a paper? Answer the question. Why do I have to answer you? Because I'm asking you a question. You would not. Would you be happy? With the B. <laughs> no, and I probably wouldn't do it again. Okay. All right. So that's pretty critical now, I guess. All right. <laughs> My rating. Um, I'm not going to lie. I kind of, I go back and forth with this game because we kind of, I don't want to say played it out on BGA, but. There was a point where I was burnt out of it because we did play. Yeah, we kind of played it out. On we BGA. talked about this when we d- when I initially but did the f- top five. I love the game. Um, I think that it what you can tell that it was designed, made with passion, and for people to enjoy being a Victorian family, mm-hmm. inviting other rich families to do stuff at your house. Oh. 
What's that? That's oh. that's what I do at all my parties. As soon as oh. I walk in the door. Oh. <laughs> and then I leave. Would you like some tea? Or as Kev says, the flulala. <laughs> the flulala? The flulala. Yeah. The flower Dallas? <laughs> he pronounced it flirtler. <laughs> flirtler. <laughs> okay. Uncultured Fleur. swine. Fleur-le-de. I will give this one. Um, cultured swine. I think I will give this one. <clears throat> I'd give it an eight. I give it an eight. I really like it. I'm also not super. I'm not super stingy with my ratings. I'd give it an eight. On a really good day, I'd give it probably eight and a half. On a really bad day, I'd probably go to like seven. So take that as you will. But right now, I give it an eight. Now the final rating. Okay. So this one for me is probably also an eight. With that, all of what Kev said. The randomness for me can really make or break this game. Um, For instance, yes, I won, but there were things that I really wanted to do that I was completely blocked out of doing because I just was not drawing female um, guests. guests. I couldn't do it. So I wasn't getting the rep to be able to do all of the things that I wanted to do. And it was, it, it, it just can be very, very frustrating in the, especially in the beginning of this game where you can only play ones. Um, so if you're constantly just trying to get up there, but you can't because you don't have the right people, then you kind of get screwed out of doing anything bigger later on, especially when it's a very short game. Yeah. The standard, the uh-huh. standard game is yes. pretty short. It's only what? 12 rounds, 13 rounds. It's 12, 12 turns. So it's not very long, very um, like you have to be very focused on what you're trying to do. And if you're not, you miss out on a lot. So the randomness really gets me. And people can accidentally people can accidentally snipe your stuff. They can. But it also I like that it changes every time. The objectives really drive your game. Um, you can change what you're doing halfway through. Um, so you, you don't have so? to. Yeah, 100 <clears throat> percent. If you get a new objective and you're like, oh, I have one of these buildings, that other building is out there. I'm going to take that one and go for those. Or if the next um, like the things at the top, I forgot what they're called, the, that you score for that round to get the theme, the theme cards. OK, yeah. So the theme of the round, whatever that comes out there, that's going to drive you towards buying specific buildings like it changes every game. The, the and theme- I do enjoy that. Yeah, the thing I found interesting about that was I couldn't go for those at all and go for my objectives. Yeah. Like I could not do the suit the the the, the things at the same time. It was not possible. So I chose to go for my objectives because I was like, well, that's just me. I'm not competing against anybody else. And they didn't else. come out. And they just never came out. Yeah. And I wonder, I'm like, all right, well, if I'd gone more competitive and tried to grab tiles, pay for tiles that would have been more competitive. So I, I got know. really lucky. One of the objectives that I had, they both came out in the beginning and they were both purple and I had them first round and then purple came out in the next thing. Yeah. So that definitely drove my game and made it easier with that. Um, but yeah, so it definitely sits at an eight for me. I enjoy this game. I don't mind the art. I actually think it's kind of nice. No, it's pretty. I think I it like has it. a pretty good table presence. I don't think it's like, the most beautiful to look at. There's no like patterns or anything like that that is yeah. really like, oh my god, that's beautiful. But it's not ugly. It's mostly like the meeples and then the different color colored buildings are what provide you a color palette that's yeah. not brown because the rest of the game is brown. See, I think that's actually. So I mean, the the tiles I don't have a problem with and the meeples. I think those are actually good. Your player board. I guess it's probably the cards I don't like. Yeah, because I do that. the Black pictures and white portraits. are just kind of. Mm. Well, that's, yeah, that's because you didn't get any of the good cards that have a bunch of different color people on them. No, no, I Sorry, meant Kev. he means the, he, I meant the the pictures of the of the, of the I know, people. I'm just, I was trying to oh, she was oh. she was making a joke. The other thing is that I don't love. <laughs> I get thematically, I get it. it. Actually, it's fine. Like thematically, it's well, it's good. But the um, like the cursive esque like text that makes kind of hard to read is just it. It just feels like a. It, it it feels low rent. Can we talk about the summer house for just a second? What's the summer house? Where it has to be in non-related male and female? No. Mm. Is it the summer house? Yeah. The romantic rendezvous activity? Yes. Yeah. That's a room. It's a promo. That's an event. It's a promo tile if you don't it have it. It has to be an unrelated 
Male and female. Yeah, it does say unrelated, lady and gentleman. I wonder what they're going to do. Okay, this is a family show. They're just going <coughs> to go yeah, this go is and about hold making hands. families. They're going to go right. hold hands. <laughs> they're going to. They're just going to maybe a cheeky little kiss. <laughs> maybe a cheeky little kiss on the cheek. You know, a little romp in the. A hay. cheeky little kiss on the cheek. A cheeky little kiss on the cheek. Bit of hand holding. Maybe even a. <laughs> maybe even a peek under the sock. Who knows? Hey, stay tuned for Dwayne's appearance on the next UK Love Island. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. And with that, oh my God. we can say goodbye to Derbyshire until we do the ranking video at the end of the rest of the 19 games. In Kenzie's first win. In Kenzie's first win and Not my yours. third loss. Fourth <laughs> loss. Fourth loss. Yeah. But <laughs> thanks, you guys. Thanks, you guys, for watching. Um, comment the name of the person that you agreed with the most and why. Um, or just comment who you disagree with the most, because that's kind of fun. And just if you want to see you hate the rest of these videos, if you want to watch our podcast, if you want to watch the other random things that we do, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. Hey, one more shout out, um, Dan Halligan, the guy oh, we talked yeah. about him when we did the video, but it's worth talking about him again. All of my complaints aside, um, phenomenal, absolutely great, um, producer, uh, Definitely worth, if you enjoy the game or if you don't have the game or you're looking to get it, just go to his website and buy it from him. I'm sure you'd appreciate it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.